Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is Kim from My Feather Nest. So you probably already know that because I don't know that this will be the type of video that just will usher in a bunch of new subscribers. So I'm pretty much making this video for all of my, my friends here on YouTube that have been asking where I have been. I have been totally MIA in YouTube world, totally. Um, I'm so, let me just first start out by saying I'm so thankful for you guys. Um, I know a lot of you have been sending me messages, whether it be through YouTube, on different comments on old videos, or whether it be through Instagram, and you've been expressing that you have missed seeing me on here, and you have also been very concerned about our family. So let me just start out by saying that everybody in my family is a-okay. Um, we don't have any any problems or anything like that that's not what has been keeping me away from YouTube thankfully I feel very blessed that we are a pretty healthy family um, everything is going good in that regards so let me just tell you be completely um, transparent with you and completely honest with you and tell you where I've been what has happened and what my future here on YouTube is probably probably gonna look like um, so, you guys, I started this YouTube channel several years ago, and I really just started it out, off as just a hobby kind of a thing. Um, I had just actually recently started watching YouTube whenever I actually um, created my channel. So, my original inspiration for coming onto YouTube was because I'm a homeschooling mom, and I was just trying to seek advice from other homeschooling moms that have put YouTube videos out, and it was so helpful. And then from that, somehow I managed to find this whole world of YouTube decorators, and I just love home decor. I always have, um, I probably always will. It is definitely one of my passions. I really enjoy decorating my home. I enjoy things to look aesthetic aesthetically pleasing, um, and so, Finding out the whole um, home decorator world here on YouTube is what inspired me to start creating videos. Like I said, I started it out as a just a hobby. Um, I think my very first video ever was my Halloween home tour, and I think after that I might have done like a Christmas tour. Anyway, I was shocked to say the least that I actually ended up with 100 subscribers, let alone over 10,000 that I have now. And I couldn't be more pleased. Um, I just, like I said, I really appreciate it. I just think that's wonderful. Obviously, there are at least 10,000 other people in this world that <laughs> like the way that I decorate. So um, we must be kindred spirits and we share a lot of similar tastes, obviously. Um, or at least you're gaining some kind of inspiration from me. And for that, I'm really thankful. I'm happy that I'm able to do that. So anyway, as time started progressing, I started getting more and more subscribers and I started trying to get more regular with putting more videos out. And for me, being on a consistent schedule has always been one of my biggest weaknesses. I struggle with that so hard, y'all. I like to consider myself a very free spirit and um, I tell my husband all the time, I'm an artist and you just can't put an artist in a box. And that's why I feel like I'm late to everything. And I'm just, I have a really hard time with staying on top of things and staying organized and all that stuff. So it's one of my things that I'm constantly always working on. I'm always trying to find new ways to get organized or to be more consistent um, in every area of my life, whether it be working out, whether it be my spiritual life, whatever. <laughs> Obviously, also my YouTube um, video process and stuff like that. So anyway, time went on and I was really enjoying it. I liked the interaction between me and you guys. Um, I enjoyed you know, the, the work that goes into decorating one's home. Especially, you know, some some people maybe not so much, but I really enjoy it. There's a lot of work that goes into it. There's a lot of time involved in it, you know, especially with seasonal decor and stuff like that. And, you know, I would have people over to our house um, to see it in person, but compared to all the time and effort that I put into it and compared to like the amount of people that I had actually overseeing it, it just, it, there, there's no way it didn't go out. So. 
sharing it on YouTube for you guys to inspire you guys just you made it ma that much more worthwhile to do the decorating and spend the time on it in the first place. And so I really, really enjoyed it. Um, and as I started to grow, I was, like I said, it kept me inspired. It kept me encouraged. You know, of course I delved into some DIYs. I delved into shopping hauls. Y'all know that I love thrift hauls and stuff like that. But as time started to progress, um, I found that I was really starting to stress out about making YouTube videos. Um, I was just totally stressed about it because like I said, I homeschool, I have four kids, I homeschool three of my children, um, which range in age from a fourth grader up to a high school, 10th grade. And then of course my older daughter, she's already graduated high school. Um, so I've got that going on and just the daily, um, daily life, cooking dinner and, you know, spending time with your husband. And like I said, all these things that vie for our time. And you know, I'm sure you guys know exactly what I'm talking about, especially if you're a mama, um, you know, that we are given, we're given enough days. Obviously God gave us enough days to get done what we need to get done, but it's all about priorities. And it's also about seizing the day. And I guess a lot of times I don't seize a day, whether it be maybe I slept in too long or maybe I didn't, whatever the case was, maybe I spent too much time and got too sucked into Instagram or, or Pinterest or something like that. But you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that I don't have enough time because we all have enough time. We just have to make priorities and prioritize things. But anyway, like I said, I was really stressing out about YouTube. I felt like, um, it was just one more thing that was really weighing on me heavy on a day, daily basis. Um, we bought this home. I live in this big, beautiful farmhouse that has so, <clears throat> excuse me, so much potential, but it's also extremely overwhelming, the amount of work that needs done on this house. Um, so between stressing out about YouTube to the point where I wasn't really enjoying YouTube anymore, I just, I was looking at it as kind of like a laborious task. Um, once I got a video out and I saw, you know, and I would get responses and, and lovely comments and people were watching the videos, that would encourage me again. But it's just the whole making the video and, you know, editing the video and all that stuff, all that different stuff that if you don't make YouTube videos, you probably don't really understand. But it's a lot of work. Um, I do not work apart from the home. My husband is the sole provider. So when I started getting bigger into YouTube, I was able to get a Google, Google AdSense account. So the video, so the ads that you guys see before people's videos, during people's videos, sometimes after people's videos, that creator gets a very small percentage of ad revenue. And so that's how a lot of YouTube creators make money. Now, obviously, if you get really big in YouTube, I'm sure there's various other ways that I know nothing about. Um, but anyway, also, I know I'm an, an Amazon affiliate. So if you even just click on my Amazon link and buy something else, I would receive a very small. I've not ever done very well with Amazon, like at all. I think I've made like 10 bucks off Amazon. But anyway, that's Another story, whatever. Um, but anyway, I wasn't making a lot of money with YouTube. Um, I probably was definitely spending more money in like the thrift hauls and all the different hauls and stuff like that. Spending way more money, I'm sure, than what I was making, let's be honest. Um, but it did kind of make me think of it like, hey, this is one way that I can contribute to the financial needs in our family. Um, so I, but I was finding that because I wanted to make sure that I was putting content up for you guys, I found maybe that I was going to stores more often, going to thrift stores more often. And even though things are way cheaper at a thrift store and at a consignment store, if you're going to them a lot, you're still spending a pretty nice chunk of change at times. And so, so between the stress and between the fact that I felt like I was actually spending way more money than I should and just, you know, I felt like my channel was really just becoming so many hauls. Um, haul videos are really easy to put together because 
you know, you kind of show what you got. And um, I never really showed where I placed things right away because I, it's not how I do. I, I buy things and it, it, it may be a month before I use that particular item. But anyway, they're easy to do. And so I just found that I was just doing so many haul videos and so the stress and just, I was spending more time at thrift stores than I needed to be spending. My channel was turning into just so many thrift hauls, so much stuff like that. Not that I'm opposed to them. Don't get me wrong. Um, that and the third thing that was really getting me down was I was starting to compare myself and comparison is the thief of joy, literally. Um, I was feeling not good enough. Um, I didn't feel like I was professional enough. Maybe I was and maybe I, I never, um, a lot of times in my videos, my hair would be up in some kind of hot mess bun and I would probably have some scrubby workout clothes on. But that's because a lot of times I would just be trying to make videos and squeeze them in whenever I could. And um, so I wasn't all, I wouldn't get all dressed and coordinate my backgrounds with whatever it is that I'm wearing. So I was feeling like I wasn't spending enough time on presentation and then I was watching other videos that were slightly like my channel, home decor channels and stuff like that. And I was watching um, this, there's so many wonderful creators out there. They're so good at just maintaining this whole just one, and I know their lives are not perfect. Don't get me wrong. I'm sure everybody has issues. Everybody has problems. Everybody, you know, but I was watching the level of professionalism and the way that they were dressed and their backgrounds and their editing skills were so wonderful and, and just, they had so much content on their channels and, you know, and their channels are growing and here I am and I know that I'm not as, con you know, as consistent as a lot of these channels that I'm talking about. Um, but I felt like, oh no, you know, my channel's not growing like their channel or gosh, you know, I'm, I'm not as good as them. I'm, I don't, I'm not as professional as them. I don't speak as nicely as they speak. And my hair is not all pretty. Like there's, um, my, my clothes are not all jewelry's not all done up. Hair's not all done up. You know, fashion's not all done up. So I was starting to like really feel bad about like my abilities and myself and to the point. So all of these different things, like especially these three things in particular just really weighed heavy on me and I talked to my husband about it I prayed about it some and I'm gonna be honest with you I probably wasn't consistently praying as much as I should have in regards to YouTube but I did a little bit and um, I talked to my husband about it and I think the straw that kind of broke the camel's back was the last couple of videos that I made. I think one was my Halloween decorated, um, house decorated. I don't know if it was like a Halloween home tour. And I know I put it out really late. I didn't get it out early in the season. Um, and I think I had a fall tree, like a, a decorated fall tree with me, which my home for Halloween looks so adorable and my fall tree was so stinking cute y'all. I'm not saying that to brag. I'm just saying they really, it really looked cute. Everything looks so cute and it's hard to capture that on video for me. I feel because I'm not best. Um, I'm not super great at like videography and you know, and all that stuff and capturing that. That's why I'm, I don't, you know, anyway, I'm not going to beat myself up, but you know what I'm saying? I'm just, I'm not, I'm not a cinematographer, if you will. And that's fine. Um, but anyway, those couple of videos that were the last videos that I made before this, um, this little split here, they really, I felt let down, I guess, because they really didn't get a lot of views. And, um, I'm not blaming my subscribers. I'm not blaming anybody out there in YouTube world. But it was a letdown. Um, after all of this stress and just comparing myself and and you know these all you know spending all this money on on things so I can bring thrift hauls and stuff like that to y'all, and then I just felt deflated with YouTube and it wasn't healthy. Um, how I was beating myself up and then I'm like, oh, well you know you didn't get it out soon enough and this and that you know and just on and on. And so I talked to my husband about it and I was like, I think I'm just going to quit. 
I just don't think I'm going to do this anymore. I think I'm going to quit. Um, I've heard a lot of, especially really big YouTubers, talk about YouTube burnout. And maybe that's kind of part of what I was experiencing. But he talked to me and was giving me some advice. And he was like, I think that you need to just step away from YouTube. And, you know, if you decide to come back to making videos again, maybe you need to do it in a whole different way. And other advice that I received was, you know, like, <clears throat> if I'm able to make a video, great. If I'm not, I'm not. And this is if I come back. You know, if you can make it, make it. And, you know, like, um, I know there's certain people that have a fair amount of subscribers here on YouTube and they don't make videos on a consistent basis. But when they do, they're really good. Like, I'm thinking about Sugar Pie Farmhouse. I love her. I love her channel. But she really doesn't put a lot of videos out there. But when she does, they're really nice quality. Um, so that was some of the advice I was given. Like, you know, if you do one, just do it really well and stuff like that. And But he was like, step away from it. And so I was like, you know what? Okay, I'm not, you know, I'm thinking in my head I'm going to quit completely, just cold turkey quit. And he's telling me, you know, step away from it. He's like, you don't have to decide if you want to completely quit, but go ahead and step away. Take a hiatus, take a break, take a sabbatical from it. Um, so, yeah, that's what's happened. And, and I really thought that I would probably just, probably just quit. And so that's what I've been doing. I have just not focused on YouTube whatsoever. Um, I would love to sit back and tell you that due to the break that I have had with YouTube, I have just been able to completely get my life organized and get back on track with consistency, but that is not the case. <laughs> I am still not consistent, but Lord willing, Lord help me, <laughs> I'm making it and I'm going to get there. <laughs> I don't know how old I'm gonna be before I really feel like I am consistent and on top of things, but whatever. Um, you know, we're not supposed to be, I guess, perfect. But anyway, it did it did kind of um help me to realize some things though. Um, one, I will tell you, I, I you know, I guess I should say this too. I am not quitting YouTube. I am not I'm not gonna quit. Um, I'm not gonna quit for a couple different reasons. Um, one thing my mom said to me is she was like, well, Kim, you know, if it's making you some money and has potential to make you some money, then why wouldn't you continue with it to help out your family financially? Not that, like I said, not that it's a lot of money, but hey, every little bit helps, right? Especially when you're a one income family. So it was really her giving me that advice was part of it. Um, the second part of it, and through this break, I have really talked, you know, I've really like got with myself and, and, and just been like, you know, comparison is literally the thief of joy. And I don't need to compare myself to anybody else's channel. I don't need to compare myself to anybody um, in, in whatever skills that we're talking about here, whether it be YouTube or just you know, the way I talk, the way I dress, the way my hair is. I mean, we are all unique individuals. Um, God loves every one of us just the way we are. And we are what we are for a reason. And um, we're unique. You know what I'm saying? And so I have decided to once again try to look at YouTube. Yes, as a means to provide some financial assistance to my family. But also just a creative outlet um I, because i love to be inspired and i really hope that i'm able to inspire you and even if i inspire one person doesn't that make it kind of worth it to for the most part it does um but i'm not going to stress out about it i'm not going to stress out about it and i'm not going to compare myself even though i would love to see my channel just blow up and get all big and stuff like that um that'd be wonderful it really would be just because you know it'd give me a big even a bigger platform um, but I'm not going to worry about it. I, I, I can't, I can't worry about it. I'm not going to worry about it. You know, it is what it is. So I'm not quitting YouTube. Um, I hope that that makes y'all happy. <laughs> um, I'm not going to stress out about it. I'm going to try and share, um, updates with you guys, vlog style. 
I probably will have some thrift hauls, although I refuse to just completely inundate with my channel with thrift hauls. As much as I love thrifting, I've got to just chill. Um, we are really trying to get back on a really good tight budget this year. We've already implemented some things, and so my spending habits have decreased a lot, which they needed to, so that's good. Um, you know what I did realize? One thing, another thing too I think that stressed me out a little bit was, you know, we bought this big, huge, beautiful farmhouse that needs all kinds of work, and I really thought that we would be sharing so many renovation updates with you guys, like on the regular. But you guys, real life has happened. Um, my husband kind of got into a little bit of a slump, and I think we both got into a slump, I should say, because this house, like I said, is very, very overwhelming. <laughs> it really is. There's just so much work to be done here, and it's just seeping with with potential it really is but we don't have um the manpower nor the financial power to buy a home like this and just pay contractors to come in and do all of the work that needs done for us this is truly living in a fixer upper for us and everything that we do pretty much has to be done by our own hands um but it's been about a year and a half that we have lived here now and we really haven't nearly gotten as much done as we really had hoped, or at least I should say that I had hoped would be done. So I think that stressed me out a little bit because I wasn't sharing as many renovations and like HGTV, I kind of wanted it to be like that for you guys. Well, that's just not the way that it's worked out. And once again, I can't stress about that. I can't feel bad about that and, and you know, compare myself to HGTV that goes into a fixer upper and fixes it up in a weekend. It's just not gonna happen. <laughs> but anyway, you know what I'm saying though, you know? And so, um, but anyway, so like I said, we're kind of starting, um, we, we're kind of feeling a little bit, we're a little bit more inspired right now. We are working on some things, so I'm really hoping to share some more renovation updates, um, vlog style with you guys. Like I said, the thrift hauls, you still see them. I do, um, I actually already filmed one because we're gonna call it, it's gonna be an episode, it's gonna be a series. It's gonna be called, What's the Junk in My Trunk? <laughs> and it'll be just like different episodes randomly that I have. I'm hoping to do them a little bit different. Um, we shall see because like I said, when I buy stuff at the thrift store, I have like ideas in my head, but that doesn't mean that I necessarily place them in my home right away. Um, but anyway, of course, seasonal decor and whatever DIYs that I am able to do, I will try to share with you. Um, but I'm finding that, you know, as far as DIYs go, I don't do a whole lot. I like to craft. You know, painting, drawing, crafting with the kids and stuff like that. But I have not really been doing a whole lot of DIYs. That's like home worthy, you know, re you know, worthy to be really shared. Um, but I got a lot of ideas. I got to give you guys some updates. Um, excuse me. Updates on our chickens. Um, I've got a really good story about some chickens. Um, I got to give you an update on my bees. And uh, yeah, so there's a lot, so stick around, be patient with me. Thank you so much for those that have left kind words and concern and prayers for us. I love prayers, keep them coming because I don't care who you are, everybody could, we never can have enough prayers. Um, so anyway, if you are happen to be new to my channel and you, this is the first video that you have ever watched of mine, thank you for sitting through me and my, my talkative stories here. I, I'm, a, I'm a talker, obviously. <laughs> but anyway, thank you. Um, I would love for you to subscribe if you haven't already done so. Make sure that you hit that bell. Um, even to all my subscribers, hit that bell, you guys, because that will notify you if I do post a new video. And being that I'm not sure I can, you know, how often I'll be able to post, I want to make sure that you do see them. I've heard some people tell me too that YouTube unsubscribed them from my channel. I don't know why that happens. No clue. But um, anyway, so that is it for now. Um, not quitting YouTube. I'm here. So everything is well. We just, um, yeah. So we're just going to move along and we're going to see where this takes us. And uh, I'm going to continue to try to be more consistent with praying about YouTube and the platform that it is for me here. And so 
Anyway, I will let you guys go. Um, I hope you have a blessed day, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.